Happy Good Friday. Today we're going to make some Chinese egg rolls. Okay. We're going to use the 12 egg roll wrappers. We're going to use a pound of Tennessee Pride pork sausages. The recipe called for two teaspoons of chopped ginger, but I'm going to use, they want it fresh, but I'm going to use the uh, ginger here that's the dry kind. Um, garlic, salt, sugar, soy sauce, um, sesame oil, a bag of cab uh, coleslaw, four green onion, an egg, and a water. Okay, so I'll be back. The directions what we have here is I use the whole pound because I want my, my um, egg rolls meaty. So to this pound you add ginger. I use two teaspoons of ground ginger because I didn't have the fresh cut up. And I use um, two teaspoons of the chopped garlic just because I didn't have the um, fresh. I do have fresh garlic but I'm using it the weekend for my Easter meal. But anyway, so we brown this and when it's brown, I'll be back. Okay, the recipe says to mix your green onion up with your cabbage. And so that's what I've done. And when your meat brown, I'll be back. But this is what I've done. This is just the, uh, this is just the coleslaw mix with the green onion. When the meat is through, drain it. But there's actually no grease here in this meat, see? So here I'm adding the salt, the sugar, the soy sauce, and the sesame oil. Add that mixture to it. And we'll start rolling. I will be back. Uh, 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 I had to improvise because this is supposed to be ground pork, ground chicken, or beef. And I had the um, Tennessee Pride roll pork sausage so that if you're going to use that I, what I did I put brown sugar in here because it was a little salty so this should be fine this is gonna and I didn't put a lot maybe um a pack teaspoon for all I put so when we come back we're going to be mixing all this together the instructions say we're going to use three tablespoons of filling and I have my tablespoon measure. Let me dry it. And we're going to put it in the middle. Okay, so we're going to this way and we're gonna turn it and it just broke y'all I think I took them out of the thing too early oh man okay and what I should have done is each one of the ends first and you're gonna do that that's how you seal it I had these sitting on the cabinet. I'm going to have to put these in the freezer for a while because they're going to break up. I'll be back. I took these out and I had them sitting on the counter and I took a nap. Don't do that because you don't want them to be at room temperature. So what we're doing, what I'm doing here, I'm taking this egg and water mixture. I'm going around the sides. Okay. But remember, make sure that you leave your things in the refrigerator until you get ready to use them. Okay. So we're going to take, let's try this again. My first one wasn't successful. <laughs> I had to actually go ahead and use two. Okay, so you're going to take it and you're going to roll it. Then you're going to bring the sides up and then you're going to roll it. Okay? 
And the reason I put um, flour here is like I told you, these are at room temperature and I didn't want this to stick to my wax paper. I'm using wax paper here. I'm gonna show you how I do another one. Now, y'all, these may not come out like I want them to. It's, I don't know, this is something I don't make all the time. And so, it's probably been years since I made this, but I just had a taste for some. So, did that, and so we're gonna put our meat mixture again. That's the three tablespoons. Bring it close to you. You're gonna flip it, hold it, and then you're gonna flip it again. And then you wanna make sure all of your seams are actually down, okay? So that's what they look like. I have three, if you can see them. They're sitting here, I have three. And I'm gonna go ahead and complete them and I'll be back. Now, it's been a long time since I made them. And one thing I wanna tell you is, you don't wanna have a lot of liquid in your meat mixer. And I think I did that because I got to have it. Uh, I rinsed my um, cabbage and stuff out. Which I probably didn't need to. They say pre wash but I always rinse mine. And so um, that's probably what did that. So I'll be back. So I want to show you what it looks like. I'm in a hurry. I'm not going to fry them all tonight. But I wanted to go ahead and show you what it looks like. What it looks like inside. That's what they look like inside. And they appear to be good. They may be too hot for me to actually eat. Uh -huh. Hmm. That's good. That's good. Okay, happy Good Friday, y'all. Have a happy Easter weekend. God bless.